welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the gorgeous stationery and school supplies I'm going to be using and what will be in my backpack for the 2021 to 2022 school year. This is going to be my first time going to school in person since March of 2020. So I'm like super nervous because I have to do my junior year, which I know is going to be super hard in person, which I definitely am not going to be used to. But I'm also kind of excited to like talk to people again and socialize. I'm just kind of excited for the entire experience but yeah let's just get right into the haul so for this school year I'm gonna be taking seven classes in all and before I start I'd like to preface this by saying my classes don't give me school supplies lists until the first few days of school so I may or may not be using all of the supplies that I show in this video and I'll also be putting the links to all of the supplies that I show in this video in the description below so let's just get right into it so we're going to start off the haul with this accordion binder. I like to use accordion binders as my main binders instead of like the stiff binders that are like a triangle, like those ones. I don't really like those because it's, since it's such a big binder, it's like the angle it's at when you put it into your backpack, it's so hard to fit other stuff into it. It's just like, like with the binder, it's just not my stuff. This one though, it is like straight once you put it in and it's just a straight surface and it's so much easier to pack stuff into the backpack with this binder and it's just so simple too. Like I usually would decorate my things but this one I like to keep simple. I got this binder from a Target or I might have gotten it from an Office Depot. I totally forgot. Or Staples, you know, I totally forgot. <laughs> I don't, okay. Anyways, basically for this binder, I put all of my printed papers from every class into this binder and like I put it into like their own little sections depending on which class it is. I also keep index cards in here along with a few paper clips just for organizing the papers even more. The next thing I have is my pencil pouch. This is the Lit Lab double zipper pen case. I got it off of Amazon. Again, I'll be putting the links to all of the supplies in the description so you can get it if you want. It is literally my favorite pencil case ever. I've had this pencil pouch for over a year and it is literally in still like perfect condition like look at that no damage nothing and it holds so many things in it and it still doesn't even take up that much space i mean it kind of does but like it's worth it i swear i recommend getting a double zipper case if you're going to be using colored pen packs and those highlighters i'll be showing you how much stuff i can fit in here so when you first open the pencil pouch the first little section shows my mechanical pencil I use the iconic Papermate 0.5 millimeter lead mechanical pencil. I've only seen these at like, you know, Staples, Target, Office Depot, all those kind of stores, but I'm sure you can get it probably anywhere. Literally my entire life I've been using Papermate mechanical pencils, specifically the 0.5 millimeter lead pencils because 0.7 lead is just way too thick and like 0.5 is the perfect thickness for the lead. The next thing I have in my pencil pouch are two Pilot G2 pens. I like it 0.38. The 0.38 thickness is so perfect for me. I write really small and I just think that the thickness is so perfect like if you press too hard it won't make it like that thick you know when you're writing it's like my favorite pen and it lasts you months literally months i used the same one for almost an entire school year and it was only near the end where i had to change it out i got my pens from target but again i'm sure you can get it from staples off the of sabo like that amazon i'm 99 percent sure you can get off of that the next thing i have in my pencil pouch are my pilot juice gel ink ballpoint pens these are by far my favorite colored pens i've ever bought they lasted me the entirety of last school year um and i love taking notes personally like making them super aesthetic and cute i love doing the whole calligraphy thing it's what makes taking notes fun for me so I got the 0.38 millimeter pens in the 12 pack. The only thing I could say about it is that some of the colors are a little too bright to the point where you won't be able to read them if you write with them. That's why I don't use them sometimes unless I'm like coloring with them or something. I like to use them also when I'm annotating books. Like when I need to color code things, I like to use the Pilot Juice pens. And I also use these erasers they're really tiny but they're great quality and this one lasted me the entire school year i don't really use them as often as i used to but there's a, this cute thing it does you know how like when you use erasers the more you use them like the more like gets like shorter 
there's this thing this eraser does. I don't know if you can see it. Wait. But like there are these little like lines where you can kind of cut it off once it gets like to that shortness. You can cut it off and easily like right there. It's so useful. I don't know why all erasers don't have that, but it's so cute and it's super tiny and it's a great eraser. It erases stuff very well. It does its job correctly. These are the Sakura Arch Evolutional Foam Erasers. I got them off of Amazon. I got all of my school supplies off of Amazon last year since I, you know, it was a weird time. And the next thing in my pencil pouch, y'all are all gonna know what these are because everybody has them nowadays. I like to say that I found out about them before they were even selling at Target and all the labels were still Japanese. I bought them actually in Japan, the first time I ever got them because they weren't sold anywhere in America. I bought them when I went to Japan a few years ago, so I know. I didn't even tell you what these were. They are the Mild Liners Highlighters. They are now sold at like a lot of different stores. They are sold at Target, which is like the most common store ever. I got my mild liners from Amazon though because again, last year was a crazy time. But yeah, um, you can obviously get them at Target like I said. I'm pretty sure they still sell it in store and Target, but you can also get it off of Amazon, probably a bunch of different other places, but that's where I found mine. I got the 15 pack of mild liners. They are so good. They are so good. They are worth the popularity and the hype that it gets. I love the duality of it. There's like two ends. Both of the ends are one end is the normal highlighter tip and then there's the fine tip at the end for like thinner writing. I use these highlighters for all of my notes. I use them when I annotate my books. I've been using them for years and they're so worth the money. I tell you, you can use them for so long. Like, I've been using the same, you know, like sets of my liners since like 2018. And I still use some of them today, and they are just great. They're very pigmented, I'll tell you that. I love them though. And the next thing in my pencil pouch are these Post-it sticky tabs. I use these when I'm annotating. And like, I also use them for like putting it on a page, like in my math book or in my science book or history book, you know, any book that I have, I use these to keep track of you know, where I am in the book. And the next thing I have in my pencil pouch is obviously white out because everybody needs white out. I have the blue one. The next thing I have is my mini stapler. And the thing I love about these mini staplers is that they have a little stapler remover at the back of it, like the little bottom. Basically, there's this little thing on the bottom that's made for taking out staplers just in case you like misplaced the staple when you stapled it. The next thing I have is this clear ruler. I've been using this for over a year and I use it for everything. I use it when I am annotating, when I am making notes and I need my highlighter line to be kind of straight. But it's basically just a six inch ruler. It's bendy, it's clear. I love it. I got it off of Amazon. The next thing I have are these jelly roll pens. I feel like this is kind of common stationary piece in the stationary community, but these are the Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pens, and I have been using these gel pens for years. It's also kind of nice as like a substitute for white out, except you can only use it for like tiny things you need to white out because this thing is not meant for that much coloring. This gel pen I love because whenever I'm doing notes, I like to make my titles look shiny, but I love note taking and I need it, so. Okay, the next things I have in my pencil pouch is this gray mild liner. Obviously, it's a mild liner. I showed you my other mild liners before. My gray mild liner is here in the back because the stuff in the back is all for my note taking. I use this gray mild liner for the shadows for the titles of my notes. I'm very extra, if you couldn't tell. But it's fun! Like, note taking is so fun. And I like making the titles. This is literally here just for the shadows. The next thing I have are the Tombow Fudenosuke Brush Pen 2 Pack. One is like a thinner tip and the other one is like a thicker tip. I use the thicker tip more often because I do titles only with these calligraphy pens. But sometimes I do use this thinner one. So those are my two calligraphy pens that I use for my titles of my notes. The last two things in my pencil pouch are just two Sharpies. One is an ultra fine tip Sharpie, and this one is the normal Sharpie. 
that just, you know, you click it. It's the fine retractable Sharpie. So yeah, these are just two Sharpie tips, just different tips. So yeah, that is all that I have in my pencil pouch. The next few things I got are four white lines graph ruled notebooks. I got four of them because these are the only notebooks I'm going to be using for all of my classes the next school year. Literally, I love them. I used three of those notebooks last year and they are amazing. You know how I said I take, like, I go all out for my notes. I use a bunch of, like, different kinds of pens and highlighters and all that stuff. They don't leak through. All the stuff I use, I mean, I don't know about the other pens, like Sharpies. I never tried Sharpies on the pages, but these pages do not like ink bleed through. I got these notebooks off of Amazon since I don't think any stores near me sell them in store. The next thing I have to show you is my TI-84 calculator. I'm so sorry, I hate school too. I painted this. It's obviously based off of those Tyler the Creator flowers. I copied the shape of them, but like I kind of like changed the colors and stuff. This is a TI-84 plus CE calculator. I got it from Staples. I also recently bought a charger for the calculator because I somehow lost the charger that came with the calculator. So I just bought another one from Amazon. The next thing I have, which is like one of my favorite things that I've bought this entire school supplies haul thing, is this Bandol Planner. I have been using Bando Planners for two years now, and look at it! It's so pretty! Like, look at that. It is gorgeous. Super aesthetic, super nice to look at. I got this 2021 to 2022 planner thing. It goes from, I'm pretty sure, August 2021 to December 2022. In this planner, I'll only be writing my school assignments and due dates and stuff, like all that stuff. That anything that's related to school, since obviously I can't whip out my iPad or whip out my Chromebook and just start typing on my Notion planner. So this is what I'll be using when I just need to quickly jot down something that I know I'm going to be needing to do later. But I will be using my Notion planner and let me tell you the inside of bando planners are so cute too look at that it says you deserve a sticker oh i do deserve a sticker this is what each week's planner layout looks like super simple straightforward you know a lot of extra space which is you know what everybody needs the next few things i got are these two two inch binders and then i just got a bunch of like extra small stationary things such as sticky notes because duh more post-it sticky tabs but they're thicker i got a two pack of glue sticks because for some reason there's always that one class that asks you to have glue sticks and colored pencils as a junior in high school I actually don't know for sure if teachers will be asking for that kind of stuff, but I won't be surprised if they do. And I also got some old school Skull Candy headphones. They have like the old school um, plug in the end of it, like the ones that you use for like an iPod Nano and stuff. Okay, now on to the whole what's in my backpack tour. I also have this other bag that I use when I bring to school, so I'll just be showing you that too, because why not? So there's this thing at my school. I don't know if other schools do this. They probably do, but we bring around bags with us that like has our own like personal things in there, like our phone, chargers, wallets, you know, EpiPens like me. A lot of us like to use Bloomingdale's bags. I don't know if you know that store. I don't know how big it is, but it's a store and they sell very unique bags. Now let's move on to my backpack. So I don't know if you could tell, but I use a North Face backpack, which is made for hiking, I'm pretty sure. I got it from REI. So on my backpack, I have this Psyduck keychain. It's huge and it's super dirty. And I have, oh, oh, I just realized the chicken's missing an eye. <laughs> No! And then I have this Squirtle keychain. I don't know if you can tell, but I like Pokemon. I just realized how many Pokemon themed things I have. And finally, the water bottle that I use. Of course, it's a Hydro Flask. I've had this since freshman year, and I'm now a junior, and I've been using it since then, so it's been like two years. And it is still in great condition. The only thing is that I dented it right here 
during freshman year but that's the only dent i have i'm pretty sure and i have a bunch of stickers on it and i love filling up areas with stickers because it's just satisfying to look at in the end but i have this cat sticker my mom found this local stationery store i have this glossier sticker i have this sticker from emma rogue on depop because she gives these gorgeous stickers to all of her orders from Depop. I got most of the stickers on my water bottle from Redbubble. I got this Tyler the Creator flower sticker thing from Redbubble. I got this hand from Redbubble too. I got this My Melody sticker from Redbubble. I got this Boston sticker from Brandy Melville. I got this golf one, obviously, from Redbubble. I got this New York one from Redbubble. I got this head thing from Redbubble. And those are all my stickers for now so i just added this cider sticker that i got from cider it's so cute okay i kind of regret that i added another sticker here and it looks too similar to this sticker and it kind of is ticking me off and then i added this sticker also from the bando planner but i think that is all that i have for this video i really hope you enjoyed this haul i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe please subscribe if you want more content like this comment if you want more just like you can do clothing hauls or stationery hauls but yeah um, i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it entertaining or motivating to like you know go school supply shopping because who doesn't like going school supply shopping that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you later. Bye.